Yo, what is up guys, Aaron here. And today, I'm gonna show you guys 20 useful tips and features you guys should be utilizing on your S22 Ultra or any recent Galaxy device. Now I'm gonna go through each one and try to keep it short and sweet, so make sure you guys keep up. But before we get started, are you guys tired of your big bulky wallet and your phone taking up a lot of space in your pockets? Well, me too. As phones are getting bigger and heavier each year, there's only so much space that we have in our pockets, which is why you should check out Exter. Exter is changing the wallet game by offering a slim, sleek, minimal design that is comfortable for everyday use. I just made the switch to the Parliament wallet about two months ago, and by not having my wallet in my back pocket anymore just made a tremendous difference on comfort. The Parliament wallet is made of high quality leather and can dispense up to 12 cards with just the click of a button. There's also many colors and styles you can choose from such as premium leather, aluminum, carbon fiber, and the quality is just top notch. They also have a solar power tracker card that connects to your phone so if you ever misplace your wallet, you can just ring it up or you can check where you last had it on a map. So the link in the description below will save you 25% off your order or just by using my code Aaron Kim. So a huge shout out to the Extra team for such a fantastic product that definitely exceeded my expectations. Alright guys, so for the first one, it's a pretty basic one, but very effective is just a shortcut to create new contacts or to create a new message. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is just tap the contacts icon and create a new contact. That's it. Or if you want to create a new message, you would do the same thing with the messages icon. You just tap and hold, create a new message. Simple as that. And the next one is link to windows. And you need to take a couple steps in order to get started, but it's super simple. Um, the first thing all you have to do is just scroll down here and just tap on link to windows. And after you do that, you should go on your computer or laptop, Windows computer or laptop, and you'll need to go to settings, Bluetooth devices, and then phone link. If it's not there, you can just download it in the Microsoft store, which will only take a minute. All you have to do then is just to scan the QR code and your phone will be linked to Windows. You can text, answer calls, transfer files, you can actually mirror your phone on your display, so it's a super useful tool to use without ever having to move from your workspace. All right guys, so the next one is uh, text shortcuts. And text shortcuts just makes texting so much easier and it can seriously save you a lot of time. So just to give you an example, we're just gonna go into settings here. And then we're gonna go to general management. And then um, Samsung keyboard settings. And then right here it says text shortcuts. Real quick, I just wanna point out that this is only for the Samsung keyboard. So if you're using Gboard or any third-party app, this will not work. Um, so just a heads up for that. Just to give you a quick example, we're just going to tap on the add button. And um, if you want to do a shortcut for, for example, your address, you just type address here. And here, you can just enter your address. You can do one, two, three, four, Aaron Street or something. Whoops. Okay. Now, every time you're texting, when you type the word address and press enter, it will automatically fill it out with the address you have phrased here. So pretty neat feature, something you should be using. So the next feature is enabling split screen. Now, this is a feature a lot of people should be using, including myself, and it makes multitasking so much easier. The S22 Ultra has a pretty big screen, so why not utilize all that space, right? So to enable this feature, we're first just gonna go into settings, and then we're gonna to go to advanced features, and then labs, and enable both multi windows for all apps and full screen and split screen view. So after enabling both these functions here, we're just gonna go tap on the three dots here, and we'll tap on the icon you want split. After you tap that, just open and split screen view, like that and we'll just go back to the settings here. Now, as you can see, we have the settings open and YouTube open at the same time. Now you can just simply drag the three dots here to resize whichever you want larger. So pretty cool feature to have. The next feature is uh, extra dim. And this is one of my favorite features of this list. Um, I use this a lot and I mean a lot. And that function is just this little guy right here. All you have to do is just tap on the little guy and your screen will automatically dim. So to enable this feature, we're first gonna go to settings and then accessibility, uh, visibility enhancements, 
and then we're going to go to extra dim. Here you can adjust the intensity of the dim as well. And what I found to be the best is um, first set your screen brightness to the max, then the intensity to the max. That way you can adjust the brightness according to your needs. So this is a super useful feature, something you guys all should be using. I use it all the time, so cool feature. So the next one guys is processing speed. So if your phone is ever feeling a little sluggish or if you're using any apps that's pretty heavy on the processor, this will help pretty much unlock the processor to its full strength. So first we're just gonna go to settings and then battery and device care. Then we're gonna tap on battery and then we're gonna go down to more battery settings. Here you can see processing speed. There's optimized, high and maximum. So you can put it on maximum if you want a little bit of boost in your CPU performance, but I wouldn't recommend leaving this on 24 seven because it'll definitely drain your battery. But depending on your workflow, this is a very useful tool to utilize. All right guys, the next one is extracting text from a photo. So if you take a picture of a document and you want to copy the text on that photo, all you have to do is open the picture in your gallery and uh, tap on the Bixby Vision right here at the top and it'll automatically extract all the text in that photo. And here you can copy it, translate, select all, and search. So pretty next level stuff. The next one I wanna talk about is auto calculations. Now under Samsung Notes, with the S Pen, you can write equations, phone numbers, emails, and if you hover your pen over whatever you have written down, an icon will show up letting you know if you wanna make a phone call, email, or even calculate whatever you have jotted down. So again, pretty next level stuff. So the next feature is Amplify Sounds. Now this feature is pretty useful whenever you're wearing your buds at the gym, you're out for a walk, whatever it may be, this feature amplifies the ambient sounds to help you hear your surroundings better. So first we're just gonna go to settings, accessibility, hearing enhancements, and then we're gonna go to amplify ambient sounds. And that's how you enable the feature. The next one is live captions. Now live captions is a pretty neat feature that kind of works like YouTube captions. So for example, if you're watching a video you recorded, or if you're in class, work meeting, whatever it may be, this will automatically detect the speech in various media files and displays them real time. So to enable this function, we're just gonna to go to settings again, and then accessibility, and then hearing enhancements. And then from here, you can see live caption. So all you have to do is just use live caption and you can actually select the languages for this as well. So pretty cool feature to have, something you guys should all be using. Now the next one, we're gonna stick on the same page. Just go back once and then we're gonna go to live transcribe. So this feature actually captures speech from the phone's microphone and displays it as text. So this is useful whenever you're having a hard time hearing someone, whether you're in class, work, and you need a bit of help, this will transcribe everything for you. So just to give you an example, we're gonna open live transcribe and testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So as you can see, this will transcribe everything for you real time. Pretty cool feature. Next one is the built-in dictionary. So this feature is also very useful when you come across a word you don't know, or you're not a native English speaker, and you can select other languages as well. So all you have to do is just highlight the word you want to define, and there should be three dots on the left. Tap on that, and then tap on dictionary. It might ask you to download the language and the version from the Galaxy Store, but that only takes a couple seconds. So as you can see on the fly, I can translate any word instantly. And the next feature I'd like to introduce is the object eraser. So say there's something in the background that you want removed from the photo, this feature will be very useful. So we're just gonna go to the Samsung Gallery app and select the photo you would like to edit. And then we're gonna tap on the three dots on the bottom right and then select object eraser. Here you can choose to erase shadows or reflections as well. So pretty next level stuff. The next one is detail enhancer. So this feature pretty much does what it sounds like it does, and it enhances the details of your photo when you're using the one away megapixel camera. Now I've tested this multiple times and it does an outstanding job. And here's a photo with the detail enhancer on and off just to show you a comparison. The next one is portrait video plus adding portrait mode to a previous photo. So portrait mode is when you get the nice blurred background effect when you're shooting a subject, but this can be done on both video and photo mode. And if you have an older photo that was shot in regular photo mode, you can now add the portrait effect to that photo in post. 
we're gonna open up the camera and select portrait video mode when you go to more over here. You're just gonna simply tap and drag it down and that's portrait video mode. And if you wanna add the portrait effect on photos without it, we're just gonna select the photo that is capable of this feature. We're gonna tap on the three dots on the bottom right and select add portrait effect. Pretty neat stuff. The next one is auto framing mode, which kind of works like auto tracking when you're filming a moving subject. This feature is super useful whenever your subject is constantly moving or if you have your phone on a tripod. All you have to do is just tap on this little icon here and it'll track the subject every time it moves. The next one is focus enhancer. This is a feature that allows you to take photos super close to an object without it looking blurry. So as you can see in this example, you may notice that the image gets blurry the closer I get to it. But if I tap on this button, you can see that the camera automatically switches to whichever lens to capture the best image. So pretty cool stuff again. The next one is super steady mode. This feature is super useful whenever you're vlogging, recording videos in a car when the roads are bumpy, or if you're just shooting on the move. This feature kind of works like image stabilization in dedicated cameras. Just super smooth videos without that shakiness and it works really, really well. The next one is translating through the camera app with Bixby Vision. This pretty much does what it says. You can literally translate any text you capture with the camera with Bixby Vision. So for example, if you want something in Korean to be translated to English, I'll just tap on the camera app, go to more and tap on Bixby Vision, select the language you want translated and the phone will automatically do the work for you. Pretty neat stuff. The next one is shutter drag for selfies. So you can actually place the shutter button wherever you want on the screen just by simply dragging the shutter button. And if you don't want it there, you can just put it back. So this will be much more easier on your hands when you're trying to take selfies and probably much more comfortable as well. All right guys, that was my 20 tips and features that you guys should be using on your S22 Ultra. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. I will always appreciate your guys' support. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.